Hi folks, this is Daryl Legacy, Instructional Designer at Hack. In the last video, we covered uploading a script to create captions on your YouTube video. In that video, we discussed the automatic YouTube captions and the trouble some students may have with using them. This short video will show you how to see those automatic captions and edit them for accuracy and punctuation. If you didn't use a script, this is a good way to ensure accurate and accessible captions. Log into your YouTube account and click on your account button in the upper right which is probably an icon with the first letter of your name. Then click the YouTube Studio button and then click Videos in the left menu. This will allow you to edit any videos you have already uploaded. Hover over one you want to edit captions for and click on the pencil icon. When the Details page opens, scroll down to the bottom and click Show More. This opens a new section, so scroll down to the Language, Subtitles, and Closed Captions area. If you uploaded your own captions, as we did here for this video, it will say, English, United States, by you. If you didn't, it will say, English, by YouTube, automatic. These are the automatically generated captions that YouTube has created. To edit them, click on the small blue Subtitles link. This page shows you all the captions or subtitles that have been added. We want to edit the automatic ones, so click the Duplicate and Edit button on the automatic captions. This opens a new window that shows you all the automatically generated captions. You can now start the video and revise for spelling and accuracy and add punctuation if necessary. If you check the box next to Pause Video While Typing, the video will stop while you're typing and will restart when you stop typing. As an example, my name is spelled incorrectly, so I'm going to fix it. YouTube also doesn't usually add any commas or periods. These captions don't need to be perfect, but you should make any revisions that are necessary for your students to understand the content. This is especially important for students who are hard of hearing. If you're not going to do all this in one session, you can save it as a draft and come back to it later. Once you're all finished, Click Publish, and it will make these captions available to viewers. At that point, you should delete or unpublish the automatic captions so that no one relies on them now that your edited captions are much better. Remember, though, if you did use a script, you should watch the video linked at the end of this one to see how to easily upload it. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, please contact me or anyone in the CDI team.